Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky met on Monday with the European Union's foreign policy chief, Josep Borrell, and Estonia's defense minister, Hanno Pevker, in Kiev. He thanked both for their support throughout his country's fight against the Russian invasion. We have to count on unity in Europe, Zelensky said during his meeting with Pevker. Especially today, when we don't know what circumstances will be in the nearest future. The meetings come as Russian glide bombs, drones and a ballistic missile smashed into cities in southern and eastern Ukraine on Monday, officials said, killing at least six civilians and injuring about 30 others. Zelensky noted that Burrell had to be taken to a shelter before their meeting. Ukrainian forces are being slowly pushed backward in the eastern Donetsk region, where Russia is bringing its greater military might to bear. Zelensky said on Monday that Ukraine would conduct a substantial reinforcement in areas near the Donetsk settlements of Kurakov and Pokrovsk, where Ukraine's army is in danger of being overrun. He added that Ukraine is holding its positions in Russia's Kursk border region, where Western and Ukrainian officials say Russia is being helped by thousands of newly arrived North Korean troops. For us it's a privilege to, to see you again and again. Thank you that during this war you've always been 100% totally on our side, on the side of Ukrainian people. Um, you don't need any details about this war because you've been during the challenging days, very difficult days, tough moments. Today you've been in the shoulder shelter as i understood yes so you know everything about the war we are thankful for your position Please. we are very thankful to your team and your country and your people for huge support from the very beginning of the war and uh especially today when the we don't know what circumstances will um, will be in this in, in the nearest future, but we have to count on unity in Europe. Ukraine launched a large-scale drone strike on Moscow on Sunday, hours after Vladimir Putin signed a strategic partnership deal with North Korea. Ukrainian drones rattled Moscow and its suburbs overnight into Sunday, injuring several people and temporarily halting traffic at some of Russia's busiest airports, officials reported. The agreement signed between Moscow and Pyongyang earlier on Saturday night obliges the two countries to provide immediate military aid using all means if either is attacked. Meanwhile, a huge nighttime wave of Russian drones targeted Ukraine. Earlier this week, Ukraine reported that its troops engaged for the first time with North Korean units. Both Moscow and Kiev have kept a tight lid on casualty figures. However, the chief of the UK defense staff, Tony Radikin, told the BBC that Russian forces had suffered their worst month of casualties in October since the full-scale invasion of Ukraine in February 2022. According to Radikin, ordinary Russians were paying an extraordinary price for the war. Radikin insisted that Ukraine's Western partners should stand by it for as long as it takes to beat back Russian aggression, even as allies of US President-elect Donald Trump have signaled that Kiev may have to cede territory to seek peace. On Sunday, the Kremlin's official spokesman voiced cautious optimism about Trump's upcoming presidency, saying, at least he talks about peace. He does not talk about confrontation. But Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky on Sunday insisted that strong decisions from Kiev's Western partners are needed to stop the terror of Russian drone and missile strikes and secure reliable peace for Ukraine. Fierce fighting has continued near the eastern Ukrainian cities of Toritsk and Kurakov, Ukraine's general staff reported Sunday. Between 700 and 1,000 residents remain in Kurakov, a frontline city surrounded on three sides and battered into ruin. Meanwhile, 
Russia's defense ministry said a total of 84 Ukrainian drones were shot down overnight in Russian territory, following what it called a mass strike on civilian infrastructure. A man died under rubble after drones struck his apartment block in Russia's Belgorod region, just kilometers from the Ukrainian border, local governor Vyacheslav Gladkov reported. Five other people were injured in the Moscow suburb of Romensko and a nearby village, according to local officials. Russia's aviation authority said flights were briefly grounded at major international airports including Sheremetyevo and Domodedovo. Ukraine's general staff claimed on Sunday that Ukrainian drones caused a fire at an arms depot in Russia's southern Bryansk region, near Ukraine and Belarus. The online update featured a photo showing thick plumes of reddish smoke rising into the night sky. Separately, Russia's emergencies ministry on Sunday said that a major fire broke out at a warehouse outside of Moscow. Russia overnight launched a record 145 drones at Ukrainian territory, according to Ukraine's air force, 62 of which were shot down.